It's a great pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Serpil Jamal. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, Serpil's been associated with the Society for a number of years and was an ex-president. Um, she's consultant and clinical lead in restorative dentistry at King's College Dental Hospital. She's also got a great interest in adult dental trauma and is clinical lead for that. And she's actually set up the first dedicated unit in the UK with a multidisciplinary team providing acute and long-term management for dental trauma um, for adult patients. Uh, she's also a dental postgrad tutor at King's and is active within the Royal Colleges. She has been a member of the Board of Dental Protection since 2011, and it's an absolute pleasure to introduce her to talk on management of dental trauma. Serpil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ken, for inviting me to um, this fabulous place. I've had a great time. Um, what I'm going to do in the next... Have I got two hours? How long have I got? <laughs> I can certainly talk for two hours, minimum. Um, the next 45 minutes is share with you our experience, really, of managing dental trauma. I didn't actually set up the dental trauma service at King's. It was set up before the, the adult dental trauma service. It was established well before I arrived. I think it had been set up um, in 2008. I arrived in 2009. Um, it was run by maxillofacial surgeon, um, serviced by oral surgeons with Warren Birnbaum and his team in acute dental care and all of the SHOs at that time actually delivering the dental trauma service. It has changed since um, that time and I took it over in 2009. So I'd like to share with you, you know, our experiences and hopefully we'll cover all of these things here. In coinciding with when we took over the um, dental trauma service at King's, when we took it into restorative dentistry, we also managed to secure a brand new 10 chair, all singing or dancing um, clinic. And so we were fortunate enough to invite Francis Andresen to come and open the clinic for us. Um, and that was a great um, start really to start publishing um, what we do at King's. From January 2008, so before Restorative took over um, leading the, the dental trauma service, um, between January 2008 and March 2014, this is the number of patients that we've seen. Um, I can't say that this is totally, totally inclusive because some patients, you know, get missed out, the form doesn't get filled in, so we don't collect the data. But as you can see, um, blues for boys, greens for girls, falls, 508, and assaults, comprise the biggest etiological factor for the patients, the adult patients that we're seeing at King's. Um, male, to, male to female is 868 patients have been seen in that six year period, 414 females and a total of 1,282 patients walked through the door that we've captured. And with dental trauma, as you all know, the dental tissues that can be injured are the hard tissues and the soft tissues. Um, and you get a direct transmission of energy onto the tooth surface. And all of these tissues can be either fractured or displaced. The teeth can be fractured or displaced. And the soft tissues can be lacerated, contused, and not everything else that goes with it. With regards to the displacement of teeth, um, you can either have a separation type of injury or a crushing injury of the supporting tissues. And obviously, if you can imagine, crushing injury, and we'll see later, is far worse than a separation kind of injury. Looking at the types of injuries that we've seen over that six year period, we've seen 748 luxation injuries. And for of the luxations, subluxation, 187, comprising 25% of the cohort. Um, lateral luxation, 179 teeth, 24%. And avulsed teeth, quite a few actually, compared to other, other centres, 133, which is about 18% of the teeth that we've been seeing at King's. Looking at the fractures, quite a colossal number, 1,175. And you can see that the most common um, fracture injury that we see at King's, or have seen over this period, um, is the uncomplicated crown fracture, which comprises about 33% um, of the 